Shemuel Shani to Samuel 12. And Yahuwah sent Eth Nathan unto El David. And he came unto him and said unto him, There were two men in one city, the one rich and the other poor. The rich man had exceeding many flocks and herds, but the poor man had nothing save one little ewe lamb, which he had bought and nourished up. And it grew up together with him and with his children. It did eat of his own meat and drank of his own cup and lay in his bosom and was unto him as a daughter. And there came a traveler unto the rich man and he spared to take of his own flock and of his own herd to dress for the wayfaring man that was come unto him. But took eth the poor man's lamb and dressed it for the man that was come to him. And David's anger was greatly kindled against the man, and he said to Nathan, As Yahuwah lives, the man that has done this thing shall surely die. And he shall restore eth the lamb fourfold, because he did eth this thing, and because he has no pity. And Nathan said to El David, You are the man. Thus says Yahuwah Elohai of Yashara'el, I anointed you king over Yashara'el, and I delivered you out of the hand of Shaul, and I gave you at your master's house, and at your master's women in your bosom, and gave you at the house of Yashara'el and of Yahudah. And if that had been too little, I would moreover have given unto you such and such things. Wherefore have you despised Eth the commandment of Yahuwah to do evil in his sight? You have killed Eth Yeriyahu the Chithi with the sword, and have taken Eth his woman to be your woman, and have slain him with the sword of the children of Amman. Now therefore the sword shall never depart from your house, because you have despised me and have taken Eth the woman of Yuriyahu, the Chiti, to be your woman. Thus says Yahuwah, Behold, I will raise up evil against you out of your own house, and I will take Eth your women before your eyes, and give them unto your neighbor, and he shall lie with your women in the sight of this son. For you did it secretly. But I will do at this thing before all Yashara'el and before the son. And David said unto Nathan, I have sinned against Yahuwah. And Nathan said unto El David, Yahuwah has also put away your sin. You shall not die. Howbeit, because by this deed you have given great occasion eth to the enemies of Yahuwah to blaspheme, the child also that is born unto you shall surely die. And Nathan departed unto his house. And Yahuwah struck eth the child that Yuriyahu's woman bore unto David, and it was very sick. David therefore besought eth Elohim for the child. And David fasted, and went in, and lay all night upon the earth. And the elders of his house arose, and went to him, to raise him up from the earth. But he would not, neither did he eat bread with them. And it came to pass on the seventh day, that the child died. And the servants of David feared to tell him that the child was dead. For they said, Behold, while the child was yet alive, we spoke unto him, and he would not hearken unto our voice. How will, will he then vex himself if we tell him that the child is dead? But when David saw that his servants whispered, David perceived that the child was dead. Therefore David said unto his servants, Is the child dead? And they said, He is dead. Then David arose from the earth and washed 
and anointed himself and changed his apparel and came into the house of Yahuwah and worshipped. Then he came to his own house, and when he required, they set bread before him, and he did eat. Then said his servants unto him, What thing is this that you have done? You did fast and weep for the child while it was alive, but when the child was dead, you did rise and eat bread. And he said, While the child was yet alive, I fasted and wept. For I said, Who can tell whether Yahuwah will be gracious to me, and that the child may live? But now he is dead. Wherefore should I fast? Can I bring him back again? I shall go to him, but he shall not return to me. And David comforted Eth Bathsheba, his woman, and went in unto her, and lay with her. And she bore a son, and he called Eth his name Shalomah, and Yahuwah loved him. And he sent by the hand of Nathan the prophet, and he called Eth his name Yedi Diyah because of Yahuwah, and Yoav fought against Rabbah of the children of Amon, and took Eth the royal city. And Yoav sent messengers to El David and said, I have fought against Rabbah, and have taken Eth the city of waters. Now therefore gather Eth the rest of the people together, and encamp against the city, and take it lest I take Eth the city, and it be called after my name. And David gathered Eth all the people together, and went to Rabbah, and fought against it, and took it. And he took Eth their king's crown from off his head, the weight whereof was a talent of gold with the precious stones. And it was set on El David's head, and he brought forth the spoil of the city in great abundance. And as he brought forth the people that were therein, and put them under saws, and under harrows of iron, and under axes of iron, and made them pass through the bricklin, rather brick kiln, and thus did he unto all the cities of the children of Amon. So David and all the people returned unto Yerushalayim.